The Sean Green Memorial Trial is an annual event in the memory of uh, Sean, who died suddenly in the fall of 2007. Sean joined the club in 2006 after Dave Lovelock spread the word to his friends in Medicine Hat. Uh, his first appearance was uh, at a Mayfield Park uh, long weekend and then uh, at a Cypress Hills event uh, uh, shortly after that. Sean organised a trial at Malcolm Engelman's in the fall of 2007 and actually asked Malcolm after the whole event had been organised. Fortunately, Malcolm was uh, happy with that. Uh, Sean drove a Series 1 and his death was a real loss to the club. Easy peasy, I heard some clanging. This movie consists of two trials, firstly the 2018 and then the more recent trial in uh, 2019. The 2018 trial was held at the Brunderheim sand dunes and was a great day. The weather was perfect, typical sort of uh, chilly autumn and it was well attended. We had two classic Range Rovers, Chris uh, with his green one and then Matt who came up uh, for the event. Bill and Jeffrey had their 110s, Glenn his D90 and Brendan brought his Discovery that uh, just had new lockers put in. As well, we had Andy's Range Rover and Ian's uh, trusty Series 1 that was only running on three cylinders for the whole day. This was Chris's last event for the club and his uh, newly finished uh, Range Rover uh, did really well. Ian decided to take the doors off his uh, Series 1 for the day and uh, Glenn and Jeffrey were all ready for the uh, beginning of the trial. And therefore everything was set for a good day and of course we had uh, Norm who was uh, there to help uh, set up the courses as well as uh, direct the traffic. So this is the, this is the vehicle that... No problem, man. Well, he got a fail for four regardless, because he shunted. <laughs> he just touched that one too! Oh! oh. <laughs> I'm just saying, well, with the power that you've got available, this ain't going to be fun.
Yeah, so what happened about two years ago is... And he got, he was through the gate. Yeah. He's not going to make the next one though. No oh, joy. This isn't holding on to anything. If we tap the tree, the tree will come down. Ah. The tree's dead. Well, what, we're trying, well, what we're doing now, we're trying to come over this way far enough. That thing's even watch, watch. Just a knob on that roof rack. It is. It's just the screw-on knob on the roof rack. No. It's drop, yeah. You Two and three. 
gonna hit the roof. Get it. You're on the roof today. So the winner of the trial who is guiding uh, Ian there was uh, Glenn and he did a great job so congratulations Glenn and then he was responsible for organizing the recent one in 2019. So the 2019 event was held at Tor which is the Total Off-Road Experience Center and is just uh, north of Edmonton near Wobberman Lake. This was a great day because as well as the uh, attendees who owned the vehicles uh, there were quite a few family members who came which is always uh, great to see at an outing and several marshals who helped uh, set up uh, the courses and direct the drivers uh, through them rather than just having one vehicle run at a time Glenn decided to have at least two which meant that we could get through more uh, challenges throughout the day so for this event uh, Jeffrey Bill and Dave Lovelock had their defenders, uh, Dave Menard and Emad their discoveries. Tazza came out in his mint condition 130 and Andy had his uh, newer uh, Range Rover. Ian came out in his Series 1 that was now running on four cylinders and Dave Branson had the D90 that he had uh, finally completed. Dave would work really hard on that for the Alexander Mackenzie Trail last year. However, uh, unfortunately, it wasn't uh, roadworthy at that stage. 
Glenn brought his D90, however, uh, during the day he was more involved with organizing the trial than uh, driving himself. Uh, the other thing is that we had uh, some young drivers. So we had uh, Dave Lovelock's niece, uh, DJ, who came out, and as well, uh, Andrew's son, Curtis. And both of these uh, young people did very, very well. So it's good to see a younger generation of drivers uh, coming out and enjoying the uh, various club events. And finally, we had two young boys, uh, one Dave Lovelock's son and the other one Tazo's son, who were more interested in the mud for the day rather than the vehicles. <laughs> So that must be gate 10 then, right? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Coming this way. Oh, no. Not the Dean Mary.
So. Seen something good first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so far you're the one who did the best, I've Dave. I've managed to hit every gate. I'm working at it. There's no way in hell I want to do this next well, year. Well, I think you want to do it again. No, I, mean, I think I've got <laughs> nine out of ten gates on the last one. You have to let DJ drive. Maybe she'd do better.
great skills training, isn't it? Yeah, that's good. One of the highlights of the day was the water challenge whereby the drivers had a small tub of water placed on their bonnet and the idea was to go through the gates without spilling any of the water. I had 275 mils left. I think it's a tougher course than last time, right? Yeah. yeah so. Nice day. The official measure. Drum roll. Ooh, 450. Ooh.
But you're going to lose all your water anyway. You don't have any water in there. It would have poured out. Make a big dump in this one. <laughs> <laughs> Roger, hey, Roger. We, we can, you can pick some grass and eat it. Hi, Roger. Hello, Jeffrey. Would you like to say a few words for the audience? Great day. Yes. The off-road event. Yes, wonderful to be with Roger. Wonderful to be with Roger and all the Land Rover people. Oh. Okay. And so far, we haven't rolled the vehicle. No, that's the uh, but, but there's still a chance. The series vehicle has done reasonably well, although it did have trouble towing out a Defender this morning. Well, you were assisted to tow out. You got towed out while you were assisting somebody to a, tow out. What you call a double tow. Yeah, it's a double tow. Double so. tow. Actually, it was a tro uh, yeah, it was a double tow. A double tow, like, like a... With assist from the from the mired vehicle as well. It's a, so. a deformity double tow. Oh, there you go. So it's a good, nice day. Now we're going to have lunch, and Ooh, then we have in exciting things for the afternoon. We had the mud challenge. The mud so. challenge. Yeah. Oh, very good. Well, look, any parting okay. words? Um, this is a great day. Nice to be here with Roger and all the land. Lovely Lando. stuff. There we go. So lunch was served for the hungry drivers and their guests. And during that time, we had some light entertainment when a jeep got uh, stuck in a bog hole and had to be recovered by none other than uh, Dave Menard in his trusty disco. Could you get through there? The final event for the day was a blindfolded driver navigated by a passenger through a variety of uh, gates.
He's got the gate on his wheel. So Jackson, you're the one that drove him, got him through the mud, eh? <laughs> You'll pay for it now. You get to wash the truck when you get home. Roger Navigator Jeffrey, and we thought we'd give you an idea of what really goes on inside the cabin during one of these events. Go. Okay, go straight. Right. Fairly hard right. Hard, hard, hard right. As hard right as you can go. Now. Keep going straight. Hard left. Oh, hang on. Go 
going left. Keep going left. Keep going left. Slow down. Slow down. Whoa. Whoa. Stop. You hit it. Back up. You didn't go hard enough left. As hard as I could. Okay, I'll tell you when. I'm going to stop. No, no, keep going back. Okay, go right, backwards. Go right backwards. Keep going. Okay, now straighten up. Go forward real slow. And swing when I say. Swing which way? Hard right. Hard right, hard right, as hard right as you can go. Straighten up. Go straight. A little left, a little left. Go, straighten up. Okay. Hard left. Oh, hang on, no. Hang on. Go straight. Swing left, hard left. Stop, stop, stop. Back up. Straight to the right. Back up to the hard to the right. Okay. Stop, straight. Hang on. Hello? Through here and then where? Okay, so straight us. Go straight. Go slow. Keep going that exactly that way. A little left. A little left. Right. Right, 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 right. Hard right. Swing left, hard left, hard left. No, stop, stop, stop. Back up to the right. Okay, that's good. Straighten up and go forward slow. Left, 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 left. Hard left now. That's it. Now, okay, now go straight. Left, 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 left. Straight up. Straight, 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 straight. Okay, go left. Go left. As much left as you can go. Straighten up. Go swing right, right, keep going right, right, hard right. Today, slow down, slow down, keep going. Straighten up, straighten up, straighten up, straighten up, left, 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 stop, 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 stop. Okay, hard left. Hard left. Go slow, man. Go slow. Straighten up. Bit right, 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 right. Okay, left. Hard left. Hard left. Straighten up. Stay there. Hard left. No, hang on. No. Go, sorry, go straight. Straighten up. Left a bit. Straighten up. We're going into the gully now, so left, 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 left! Hard left. Doing good, actually. Where now? Okay. Left. Go straight. Swing right a little bit. Right a little bit. Right a little bit. S straighten up. Straight. Okay. Keep going. You're doing good. Right a little bit. Straight. Left. 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 That's good. You do. Okay. That's it. Straight on. Are we done? You're done. That's good. it. Not bad, Jeffrey. Made it through. And Roger and I are still friends, and he got another chance to yell at Emad uh, during uh, his drive.
And listen to him, me, mad. Yeah.
Ooh, then look. we have exciting things for the afternoon. We have the mud challenge. The mud so, challenge. Yeah. For this event, you need two small boys with a stick, some mums as onlookers, with a dog who's not uh, particularly interested, and a willing parent, as well a couple of Land Rovers for effect. And the aim of the exercise is to find the hidden boot in the mud. Dave Lovelock was chosen for this uh, inaugural event. Engineering. Solid. Well done, Dave. And just look how happy Dave is really after winning this inaugural event. The prize for the event was two water bottles and a muddy boot. The winner of the trial this year was Curtis, who is Andy's son, and congratulations uh, to Curtis. So Curtis and Andy will be organising next year's trial, and uh, I would encourage uh, other members to participate, because it's great fun. So thanks to Glenn and the organisers, all the participants, and Lloyd with his uh, trusty camera. And thanks to Bill for the images of Sean Green and the uh, video. As Jeffrey's always videoing other people's vehicles, we thought we'd have a few shots of the Series 2A. So we managed to squeeze Roger into the uh, Series 2A vehicle, and this is the first time that he's actually driven a Series 2A. Uh, in his younger days, he did actually drive through Africa with a friend in a uh, short wheel based Series 3 vehicle. In the second clip, we have to listen to the problem with the vehicle. Go slowly. You can get down there. I think it seems too steep. No, no, sure? it's fine. Yeah. Just go slowly. Really? Yeah. Go slow. You're fine down there. Keep going. So what's the answer to the problem with the vehicle? <laughs> 